All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with a ACEDC game cart or game cartridge. It's a, a pretty cool toy right over here on the table, but don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. It's very important. I like to connect with you. And also if you're in the business, in the market for uh, fidget toys, you can check fablades.com and at fablades on Instagram. But let's go ahead and check this bad boy out. Uh, this guy comes with a classic ACDC box. Uh, uh, there's some uh, uh, goodies, uh, uh, some extra hardware uh, parts right over here. And of course you get uh, your like padded uh, inside, but most of all you get your gamer uh, game contra, in this case, uh, uh, cartridge. It's a pretty cool one. Let's quickly check the size uh, because this fella is going to be like, you see, 1.75 inches wide and maybe 1.4. Four, I would say inches tall and I would say like what 0.6 inches thick so it is not a small one let's quickly check a couple of sliders for example this is the black mirror design uh, chocolate another right over here is the ACEDC uh, Milkia um, then what can I show you right over here I've got another pretty cool optic coin this is the black mirror design telephone dial I want to show you uh, this is the 42 Cosmo Nebula. It's another tiny one. Uh, Lauti and ACEDC collaboration. Uh, that is a pretty cool haptic coin. Uh, what else can I show you? A couple of popular options. Of course, Mahjong from Tom EDC. A big coin from Ambury. And uh, Maki CP2. Yeah. So you have an idea of the size of this uh, uh, complex toy because uh, there's three uh, parts uh, uh, moving in this one, three fidgetable areas. But let's quickly check the design. Of course, this is uh, inspired to the game uh, cartridge that uh, many of you maybe don't remember, but we started with just physical like cartridge plastic with some thing you had to stick into the console and you were able to play. So uh, this is inspired to that and it's just a beautiful, uh, nostalgic design i really like it so contra of course uh, uh fighting uh, video game you have on this side you have one player two player to select and the number of lives available 99 so a lot of lives left uh you get this is like you see it's like nicely nicely milled it's not etched and you have this side right over here turn it on the other side you get the ko you get gamer ac edc a little bit of arcade fun going on right there and that is it you have a button a slider on the top and that is it so how's the functioning of this one uh, it's really really cool this is a stainless steel version by the way there's 99 made of these it's gonna set you uh, around 250 dollars this is not a cheap toy and it's stainless steel. So imagine when the Zirk is going to come out, it's going to be crazy. But anyways, let's start from the top. We get a slider right here, which has one, two, three, four states. So you have like a little ball with a spring on the inside. And basically, you're going to be able to uh, slide the top like so. It's very cool, nice. And you have to press. It doesn't slides that easily so you have to apply a little bit of pressure but still it's good you just hold it like that you can produce this kind of noise or or be a little bit less uh, noisy and be a little bit more subtle so and that's one slider and then we got this part right over here the ko side which just slides like that like a regular slider all right so up and down it has one two three states only. You can open it up. Notice like I just installed some Teflon tape right here to have a little bit nicer uh, feel. And then right over here, you see it just popped out. Like so. Here we go. So you have right over here, um, you see these two uh, Torx bits. You have eight magnets. The bits is gonna need it to disassemble this part right over here. I'm gonna show you in a second. And here you get spring ball bearings right over there that are going to roll into this track right over here and creating therefore a nice feel, nice smooth action. And then you have this other track right over here, which is for this pin to just make sure that this uh, uh, the slider doesn't just slide off. And the magnets are gonna make sure that the place stays, that the piece stays in place. So that's 
a sliding option number, uh, number two and number one right over here. On the other side, on the contra, you have another kind of slider, and this is a, a first for me. Uh, this slides in this direction, all right, but look at that, there's no screw, there's life is a game, you get your serial number underneath that, 13 of 99, and then this, boom, just slides back, spring loaded. And here the sound, guys. Very metallic, tinky, high-pitched sound, very smooth operation it's very very simple inside um, you're gonna get like a spring of course that is just pulling this guy back and when this hits that it produces this pretty cool sound very satisfying you get really three different sounds three different sliding uh, modes it's a nice multi-fidget toy there is like one thing to notice uh, uh, right over here and it's the weight yeah this is a complex toy lots of parts solid stainless steel piece it's gonna weigh in at 5.54 ounces so it's not a light one to just toss in the pocket so it's it's halfway between like a desktop uh, fidget or like just pocket fidget because of the weight size is, I mean, not a small one, but not huge. So you have just only to consider the price factor and the weight factor on this toy, but for sure, it is a gorgeous looking one. Fantastic nostalgic piece uh, uh, from the beginning of the video gaming era. And uh, it's just looks good. Great sound, great feel. This is a fantastic toy. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.